Weight Problems, Unit B1, 1.2. Hello guys, it's GCSE Revision here bringing you another video for the AQA Biology topic and this time it's preceding Diet and Exercise which is my first um, video on by the Unit B1 which you can find in the playlist from which this video is situated in. Right, Weight Problems. The learning objectives for today are to know what health problems are linked to being overweight, to understand why it is unhealthy to be thin, and to know why people who do exercise are often healthier than those who do not. Weighing scale problems. Weight has always been a problem in today's world, whether it be eating too many fatty foods in first world countries or not getting enough in developing nations. The consequences always leave the people malnourished. If you eat more body food than your body needs, you become o uh, overweight. Or if you eat too little, you become underweight. Here are the two definitions for the key terms. Overweight. A person whose body carries excess fat and has a BMI between 25 and 30. Underweight. A person whose body does not carry enough fat and has a BMI of 18.5 or under. What is a BMI? The body mass index is a measure for a human body shape based on an individual's mass and height. That is to say, based on your um, height and mass as it is, so how tall you are and how much matter there is in your body, the relative size that you're given states how overweight you are. So this doesn't mean that someone who is incredibly tall and heavier than someone who is small and still heavy is fatter because it's all relative to size. So someone who is shorter and a little bulkier is a lot fatter than someone who is taller and not as skinny. Uh, sorry, and still maybe a bit plump because it's relative to size. Now this is the equation to work out what the body, body mass index is. It's weight divided by height squared. So weight in kilograms divided by height squared. In the exam this may come up. It probably is unlikely as it hasn't been mentioned before. But bring in a calculator just in case, make a note to yourself so in the exam you can bring it in as it may come up and you might have to calculate some body mass index. Mass and weight. Some students often get confused between mass and weight as they are similar concepts. Mass is the amount of matter in your body, whereas weight is the force by which the body is pulled to the earth's centre. Now the use of fat. Fat is vital to our body. Although some people may see it as a negative thing if people are overweight, it is vital to keep us alive. Some examples for why it is needed to is to keep our body temperature warm. As we are warm-blooded warm um, mammals, we do have to keep our body temperature constant and a layer of fat allows us to insulate our body so that when we live in cold temperatures such as possibly um, sub-20 when you know some people in Russia when they can't cope with temperatures like that they need to have that layer of fat as well as plenty of coats um, to, in order to keep them warm. It's also used as an energy store. It's seen more as a secondary energy store as when your body doesn't break down all the glucose that it receives from the food you eat some of it is stored as fat whereas the other one is used you know upon eating in order to chew, respire, do any exercise straight after. So the energy you don't uh, use is stored as glycogen in the body so that you can use it later. Now that is a B2 topic that we're going to be covering in the future so I won't go into too much detail about it then. It also cushions our internal organs so whenever you fall over there is always a layer of fat surrounding one of your organs that will cushion the fall as an example so that it doesn't get badly damaged or damaged at all. Now being overweight and being obese you can even over exceed the overweight category, however, as you can become obese if you take in far too much food. Now, obesity can lead to arthritis, type 2 diabetes, high blood pressure, and heart disease and potential heart attacks. Now, these are all medical um, conditions which people who are obese can get. Now these are some of the disadvantages of being obese and this may come up as an exam question in the exam possibly saying something like name the problems that a, someone who is obese may encounter and why they are bad. So remember arthritis, type 2 diabetes, high blood pressure, heart disease and potential heart attacks. 
if you remember three of them by the time you get into the exam, you should be okay. Now losing weight. Many people want to be thinner. This might be for their health or just to look better. You gain fat by taking in more energy than you need. So you lose mass when the energy of the content of the food is less than the energy you use in daily life. For example, if someone was to take in 1,500 calories a day, but burn off 1,700, they would have lost 200 calories. And that would mean that their size decreases in mass as they've burnt more food than they took in that day. So they take in the day before's energy supply, therefore becoming thinner. Now, here are some ways that you can lose mass. Reduce the amount of energy you take in, as I explained. That way you don't gain as much mass or even potentially cut down so much that you lose everything you gain. Increase the amount of energy you use by doing more exercise. So then that way you can burn off your calories a lot easier and then lose mass. Now, people in today's society lose mass by attending slimming groups. These discuss sort of dietary tips to people which may make them lose mass in that way by not having so many fatty foods but more low fat foods. For example, why drink a, um, no, drinking is a bad example. Why have a high fat, um, yeah, if you were to drink milk, we'll use drinking as the example. If you were to drink normal milk, that does contain fat. However, if you were to switch to soy milk, it doesn't have as much fat in it. So that way you won't be taking as much in, but still having the same volume. So then that way you can still eat as much and still feel as full, but you won't be taking in as much fat, which is stored up as mass and more calories as a result. You can exercise more in order to burn off all the stored um, fat from the other day. And watch your diet. It's what you eat, which is what makes you fat. So the energy intake against the energy output is what makes you lose weight. So um, by watching your diet and not eating potentially as much, or as I said, eat more low fat foods, you can then lose weight. Now, a lack of food. In some parts of the world, many people are underweight and malnourished because there isn't enough food to eat. Now, Deficiency diseases due to lack of mineral ions and vitamins are common in both children and adults when they don't have enough food. Deficiency diseases can also occur if you don't have the correct balanced diet. Now here are the key points from today. If you take in more energy than you use, you will store the excess as fat. Obese people generally have more health problems than others, and people who do not have enough to eat can develop serious health problems. Now here's a glossary containing all of today's key terms. So pause the video at home, take a note, copy these down, and move on whenever you're ready. Right, here are today's questions. So there again, pause the video, write these, and then when you're ready, press play and you'll be able to see the answers. And here are the answers. If you've got all four of them, well, give yourself a pat on your back. If not, try and go back in the video and try and find out where I mentioned all the information for this. Right, thank you for listening today. Today's session is over. Well done. We have a good part of revision here for weight problems. We have covered the whole um, part of the topic. And next session, we'll be moving on to B1 1.3, Inheritance, Exercise and Health. So thank you for listening. Please like and subscribe for more videos that will be coming your way. And until then, thank you and see you.